Hey brother! Ben, I have seen Toy Story a lot, but not until one of my more recent viewings did I notice something that I'd never really paid attention to that much before, but once I noticed it, really began to bother me. Woody has a holster, but no gun. What gives? such a simple detail and it looks so natural on him that you don't even question it. But maybe that's for the best because once I did start questioning it, it led me down a maddening road. Seriously, why have a holster if you don't have a gun? I mean, he must have had a gun at some point, right? I mean, the very first thing, the very first thing he says on screen is Reach for the sky! It's a built-in phrase. Why include that in the toy if there's no gun? Well, your first thought might just be, uh, Jay, uh, Woody's a hand-me-down toy, and small accessories are easily lost, especially by kids, so Andy probably just lost it. And sure, that would be perfectly plausible, except in Toy Story 2, when Al is stealing Woody, the very first thing he notices is that Woody is missing his hat. I mean, he even quotes details about the hat. Only you had your hand-stitched polyvinyl <laughs> hat! And as the movie progresses, we learn that Al is quite the avid collector. He has every single piece of Woody's Roundup memorabilia. So, don't you think he would have also noticed if there was a gun missing? Yeah, me too. So then, yeah, maybe Woody didn't have a gun. I mean, it's not featured in any of the rest of the memorabilia or even in the TV show. Heck, the giant cardboard cutout of Woody doesn't even have the holster on it. But speaking of the giant cardboard cutout, let him go. Yeah, there actually is a gun in the rest of the memorabilia. And why would that be part of the collection if Woody didn't have a gun? Can you see why this was driving me crazy? Well, maybe the prospector or Jesse had a gun, right? Wrong. The prospector is still in his box and you can actually see everything he comes with. No gun. Plus, Jesse doesn't even have a holster, so... It has to be Woody's! So it was at this point in my investigation that I decided I had to get creative. And you know what's awesome about Toy Story? They make the toys! Why do all this detective work trying to figure out what an original Woody comes with when you can just go out and buy one? Boom! Woody! And Buzz, because I mean, let's be honest, I'm not gonna buy just one. And guess what? No gun! So, mystery solved! Right? Wrong again. This might seem like a solution, but it's not. Because this is not the same toy. This is a toy of the character in Toy Story, not a toy of the character in Woody's Roundup Gang. This doll doesn't have a gun because it's based on the Woody we know from the movies, and that Woody doesn't have a gun. But we don't know what came in the box for the original Roundup Gang Woody, but I bet we can assume it didn't have Toy Story branding on it. I'll tell you what though, I would pay solid money for like an authentic Woody's Roundup doll. Anyway, the mystery continued, and I began to look for answers outside the canon of the movie. First, I thought, well, maybe they just don't want to show a gun in a kid's movie. Except, literally the first character you ever see in the movie is holding a gun! Okay, so then maybe they just didn't want to have the good guy carrying a gun. Well, maybe, but the army men have guns. True, but they aren't really main characters. And they were already toys before Toy Story came out. And they can't actually shoot, so... Alright, fair enough, but what about Buzz? Buzz has a laser. It's not a laser, it's a... It's a little light bulb that blinks! Ah, well played. But either way, it's still supposed to represent a weapon. And either either way, Woody himself even plays a game of draw with Etch, who draws a gun! And Woody just uses his finger. But speaking of Woody's fingers, they are another clue. Anyone who's ever owned an action figure that holds something knows that the hands are typically set in this like permanent grip state so that they can hold whatever accessory they came with. But Woody's hands, when he's not alive, are in a distinctly 
open position that don't look like they could hold anything. So if he did have a gun, it would just be an accessory for the holster, which again, he does have, but apparently for no reason. <sighs> and that was it. I was pretty much stumped. The holster seriously seemed to just have no reason except for Sid to put a match in it that one time. And then the match didn't even work. So seriously, what was the point? But then finally, I came across an incredibly obscure clue, which I'm not even sure counts as canon, but in the Toy Story 3 video game, there's a collectible item called the Woody's Roundup card. And one of those cards is called, wait for it, Gunless Law. Just like Woody's non-existent gun, it clicked. Woody's empty holster isn't a mistake, it's a statement. A statement that Woody believes in non-violent resolution, a reminder to friend and foe of the kind of justice Woody practices. Gunless law. Ah, mystery solved. Wait, what is that? Gun. I give up. I don't know. I mean, the mystery of Woody's holster is just, like, basically up there with Emma Jean. Which is kind of hopeful, because I will remind you, we did eventually solve that one, for the most part. You know, except for why Andy has the postcard. I don't want to talk about it. But Ben, my question for you and everyone else is, what do you think? Why does Woody have a holster but no gun? Is it really just gunless law? Let me know your thoughts down in the towel section below. I'm very eager to see what you guys think on this one because I really just went back and forth and back and forth and I really hope one day we can have like a concrete answer. These socks are amazing. Guys, thanks for watching as always. Please leave a like on this video if you haven't already and subscribe so you don't miss any future Toy Story content on this channel. I recommend checking out the Woody was almost bad video or the why does Buzz freeze? Both were really fun and interesting to make. But Ben, that's all I've got for you today, man. I will see you in another life, brother.